More than two million New Yorkers will have their convictions sealed in an effort to give them a clean slate. Governor Hochul signed the legislation today, and CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has reaction from those who support it and opponents who call it dangerous. I was convicted in 1999 of assault. Decades after she paid her debt to society, Melinda Agnew says she still has doors slammed in her face. I still had to explain as to what happened when I was 20 years old. Now I'm 47. For years, her criminal background kept her from getting jobs and affordable housing. And I kept going. I kept not, you know, going and applying for jobs until someone said yes. And she didn't stop there. She got her bachelor's degree and a master's. But what about those who give up after repeated no's. The response is, you are the worst thing you've ever done. There is no hope for you here. Faced with financial desperation, the worry is they may recommit crimes. And I believe that the best anti-crime tool we have is a job. And advocates say the Clean Slate Act, signed Thursday, aims to get people working. It will go into effect in one year and involves a waiting period. Eligible misdemeanor convictions will be sealed three years after release. For eligible felony convictions, eight years after release. That's if the person remains crime-free. Those ineligible include anyone convicted of sex offenses, murder, domestic terror, and other non-drug class A felonies. Records will not be sealed to law enforcement or the criminal justice system, and employers permitted by law to perform fingerprint checks. A place where we have senior citizens, a daycare center, a nursing home. So all of those areas are off limits. They decided to commit the crime, but we're now we're going to seal that and hide it from the public. Senator Dean Murray is among the lawmakers who oppose the bill. There's already a system in place uh, where you can, if you were convicted of nonviolent crimes, that you can apply through the judicial system to have your record sealed for this very purpose. It's already in place. Now they've made it and painted it with a broad stroke to include crimes like manslaughter. For Agnew, now a mother and grandmother, all these years later, she's a different person. My past no longer defines who I am. I'm looking forward to the future. In Prospect Heights, Brooklyn, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Employers can ask about conviction records at any point in the hiring process under New York state law, but they do have to consider factors like whether the conviction has any bearing on the person's ability to do the job.